Hey everybody, today we're going to be working in Adobe Photoshop Elements 10 and um, what I'm going to be showing you guys how to do is make this pizza here. Um, basically the reason I'm teaching you guys this is um, to learn how to use different um, effects and how to get texture onto your uh, layers. So let's get started by opening a new file. We're going to make a uh, named pizza underscore your name. Okay, so now we got that, I'm just going to press Control 0 so then it zooms in so I can get a better view of my what I'm working in. So first, we're going to add um, the crust here. So the crust is going to look like this. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to go... I would just like unlocking that there. Um, we're going to go over to here, and underneath here, it'll usually be set to the rectangle tool. It's just underneath your gradient and your paint bucket. You're going to right-click, and then you're just going to go down to the ellipse tool. Okay, so now you're going to change it to the right color, a nice crust looking color. Okay. So now that I have that, I'm going to click, but at the same time I'm going to hold shift down, which is going to make it a perfect circle compared to if I let go of shift, you can see it goes to an oval shape. It's not a perfect circle. But then as soon as I hold shift here, it makes this perfect circle. Okay, so I got that done. I'm just going to move that more to the center of my document. Okay, so we have that done. We're going to give it that, um, this little, I guess little square looking. Um, you can try different textures, whichever texture you like the most. I'm just going to be choosing a random texture here. Just try and make it look like crust. So I'm going to be just using this one like I did. But first, before you put your texture on, you're going to need to right click on your shape. And then you're going to have to go down to simplify layer. Okay, so what simplifying your layer does is um, it makes it uh, edit. You're able to edit it without um, with ease, basically, compared to the other way. So now we're gonna click on the style you want, and you're gonna click apply. But um, if you're working in a different Photoshop, um, it won't be apply. You're just going to have to click and either drag on to it, or you're just going to click on, if you go into here, like, filter. You're going to go into texture here. And then, what's this texture here called? Patchwork. You're just going to click patchwork. And you're going to click, okay. That's what will happen in other ones. So the first thing I did here is I don't like that color, so I'm going to go back and I'm going to change to the color of that. It looks a better color for me, so I'm just going to go and simplify this layer again. And I'm going to go filter, stylize, patchwork. I'm going to click OK. So I got that done. So as you can see on this um, cr uh, crust part here, it almost looks like there's like a bump to it or something 3D-ish. So to add that, you're going to add a bevel. So to add a bevel, you're going to go into effects here. Actually, no, sorry. You're going to go into your layer styles. And then you're going to choose one of these. Like, you can click this one. Kind of gives you a bit of a ridge. Just any one you want. You can have metallic pizza. It's just, <laughs> it doesn't look that good. Um, basically, any way you want. I'm going to choose this one up, one up here because I know that's what I used before. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to rename this layer crust. Okay, so now we're going to make a new layer by clicking down here. We're going to grab our ellipse tool again. And we're going to click and hold shift again to make another circle just slightly smaller than the first circle. So you're going to go up here and you're going to change it to a red color. Grab the move tool. And we're just going to kind of center it there in that document. So, again, you can add a nice bevel and emboss here. First, you want to simplify, though. I'm 
I'm gonna do, I think this one. Yeah, this one here. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add my che my uh, texture for my sauce. So you can go into effects and you can go into texture. You can. I'm gonna go back to artistic, and then I'm gonna choose this one called water watercolor. And it didn't change anything, so you just choose a different one. So I it's sponge actually. So I'm going to choose sponge here, and this kind of gives it the kind of almost saucy sort of look. Okay, so then now let's go to our other document here and see. Look, so we got our sauce and our crust. Now we're going to add our cheese. And to add our cheese layer, what you're going to do is you're going to create a new layer. You're going to rename it cheese. And actually, we forgot to rename this one. Okay. So we're going to rename it cheese. And to do the cheese layer, you're going to click on your brush tool. You can change the size if you want. I'm just going to leave it at what everything is here. You're going to go down to your color palette down here. And you're going to double click or click. And then you're just going to make it like a cheese color. It doesn't have to be exact because, well, it doesn't. It's going to start clicking around like crazy, just doing little, whoops. Try and stay inside this little red area here. It just makes it look better. You know, a couple pieces can go out there, but like, mainly you want to stay inside of the sauce. Okay, so it's enough cheese for now. I'm going to click on that layer, and I'm going to press Control J. And what Control J does is it duplicates the layer. There's an, another way to do it. You just right click and you go duplicate layer. And you press OK. Alright, so we're just going to grab our move tool here. And we're on one of our cheese layers here. Okay. So now we're just going to click on our cheese. And then you can just kind of move it. You can rotate it so then it doesn't all look the same. You press OK. I'm going to grab my eraser tool here and just get rid of this little bit here coming out. Okay. Um, I'm just going to do that one more time. So then, uh, just has a bit of a different look to it. It's more cheesy. Okay, there we go. So now we got our cheese layer. So next we're going to add our pepperoni layer. And to add our pepperoni layer, um, what we're going to do is we're going to click a new layer. We're going to go back and grab our ellipse tool again. And this time we're going to change it to a red, but just a bit lighter, more of a meat color. So I'm just going to drag out some pepperonis here, make them different sizes, everything you want. Whoops, that one didn't work out. Holding shift again, because you want to hold shift so then they're perfect circles. See, I didn't hold shift for that one. So there, I'm just going to move. And then now you see you have all these different layers. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold shift. Well, first you're going to click on the top one, you're going to hold shift down, and you're going to click on the bottom one here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to right click on it, still holding shift, and you're going to click merge layers. So then what that did is it took those four layers and it compressed it all down into one layer. So then instead of having to move each layer individually, you move them all at once. So let's add just um, a bevel to that if you want. Um, I'm going to add a bevel to it. Well, that one doesn't look so good. That looks pretty good, I guess. Um, and then I'm going to go and I'm going to add just like a, some sort of, I'm going to go down to, to try and find one that looks nice. You can play around with this. You don't have to use the exact same ones. Um, it's all about what you like and what you want, really. Okay, so that one looks pretty good, whatever. It kind of looks scaly, but it, it's good enough. Um, so we're going to rename this. I'm just going to name it Pep, short for pepperoni. And then the, these cheese layers. I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the pepperoni layer by clicking here, holding shift, and then clicking down, and then right-clicking and going merge layers. So then now when I move my cheese layer, I'm moving it all instead of just moving the one layer. 
And then I'm just gonna get rid of where it says copy to. Okay, so I forgot to add some bevels and that to my cheese layer. So I'm gonna go and do that now. So I'm gonna add a... Mm, you just gotta kinda find and what you like, what looks good. As you can see here, I kind of missed some to erase them there, so I'm just going to zoom in by control plus on your keyboard. Okay. Control zero, so then I get it back so it's the way I like it. Um... See, there's some funny things. You can have uh, metal cheese. Kind of looks funny and gross. Um, let's find something you like. I think I'm just going to do a little soft bevel there. And then, um, yeah, that's it for the making the peas pizza. Sorry, tutorial. Um, you can add different things. Like, say you want to add some green pepper. All you do is you click on your brush tool. Click down here. And instead, you're going to change it to a darker kind of green pepper color. And you're going to kind of draw out some green peppers on your pizza here. As many as you want. Those, those look too much uniform. You just got to kind of... Just different things. Just kind of make them... Yeah. And then you can add some bevels to them too. I'm going to add a soft bevel to that. And yeah. So that's the tutorial on how to make a pizza in Photoshop and um, learning how to use different styles and effects. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a great day.